say about you because that's what they will say. We come from Allah and unto him we're going to return. And that's why Fudayl ibn Iyad said, do you know what he just said? He just translated what I said. He says nothing not like that. He knows if you for sure created, then you know for sure you will die. And if you for sure know that you will die, then you better know that you'll be buried. And if you know that you'll be buried, then you better know that you will be resurrected. And if you know for sure that you will be resurrected, then you better know that Allah will hold you accountable of what you will be done in front of Him. And if you know for sure that you will stop in front of Allah, then you better know that you'll be asked questions. And if you know for sure that you will be asked questions, then you better prepare the answer for the questions. And that's what it's all about, my brothers and sisters. Then on your passport, you also have your address. So what's your address? Oh yeah, I live in the uptown, right up by the waterfront. I have three car garage, 3,000 this and all of that. But wallahi, my brothers and sisters, that's not what I mean. What is your location? What's your address? Is exactly what I'm asking you to do. Look for your grave, what it will be. An eternal address, whether you're going to be heaven or hell. And that's the address you should be concerned about, not your temporary address. And your expiry date. What is your expiry date? Well, everyone is already given the expiry date. And that's why Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anh, says, Wallahi, every day that passes by, you don't increase the bank of Allah with your righteous deeds, it's not a good day the sun is risen upon. And finally, your visa. Most of us try so hard to come to North America or a good country, we leave whatever it is what we call back home behind. <laughs> for a reason or other. But you sometimes get denied visa and you get upset and you pay some more money to be able to come. And however, on judgment day, your passport will be scanned and it will actually know exactly what you've been, what you've seen, what you've said, what you've done, what you've given, what you've taken, how you believed, how you've acted, how you behaved. But I want to give you one last thought. On your passport, my brothers and sisters, every visa that is stamped, it will be noted. But the most important visa of all is the visa to go to Jannah, paradise. So make sure you understand, my brothers and sisters, that the visa that is the most important visa of all is an invitation by Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. He actually says, كل أمتي في الجنة إلا من أبا. My whole ummah, everyone that submits to say there's only one God is going to Jannah, going to paradise. Except those who refuse to go to paradise. How do you refuse to go to paradise when you live happily ever after? Eternally therein, everything you wish for is yours. You will never get old again. You will never get sick again. No sadness, no sorrows, no stress, no death, no illness, no sowing so long to anyone anymore. Eternally there, their bliss. How do you actually do that? How do you say no to that? When well, he says, those who obey me, they will enter paradise. And those who disobey, they will have refused to go to paradise. Having said that, my brothers and sisters, the last is the mercy of God Almighty. Look at the brothers. One is a ex-former high court judge, and one is a very well-known person that had their path. And a dua, a supplication from his father, a request that he came back from what he was to what he's known now. And that's why we have this four. Because to honor his legacy, from where he was and where he ended up, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, Allah Subhanahu says, وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ don't die except in a state of Islam, submitting to one God. Why? Because at the beginning of the life, it doesn't matter really. It's how you end up. And that's why God Almighty says, don't die except in a state of Islam. Why? Because the way you live is the way you will die. And the way you die, the way you'll be resurrected. So God Almighty cut to the chase. He says, don't die except in a state of Islam. So how do you live, my brothers and sisters? If this is your last pulse of a heart, last blink of an eye, last breath you take, last time you put your head on the pillow, are you ready to meet God the way you are? Who do you hang around with? If you don't want to be dying with them, don't hang around with them. If you don't want to die in a sick, simple, sick place, don't go to that place. If you don't want to die doing a certain act or saying a certain thing, don't do it. Why? Because uh, this grave is a treasure box of your actions and deeds. And it will be then uploaded. So everything you've seen, everything you heard, everything you said will be downloaded. And it will be uploaded on day of judgment day. The only thing you want to care about is that time, my brothers and sisters. We ask Allah SWT to forgive us, and that's the mercy of Allah that's given you. Illa man taba wa amana wa amil amal salih. You see, Allah SWT says, it doesn't matter what you've done in this life. Everything sins you committed, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not just wipe it clean, will transform every evil deed you've done into being a good deed, according to the Quran. Except those who repent, believe, and do righteous deeds. Those are the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will transform the bad deeds into good deeds. And the conditions are, the first thing I ask you, brothers and sisters, to repent before is too late. Number two, once you repent, your iman, your faith will increase. And that's not why in their order. And when you believe, your actions and deeds are the proof of your belief. And that's why it says, That is the mercy of Allah. And formally, and sealing it with one ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tell them, O Muhammad, tell every human being on the face of the earth, no matter how far away, no matter how bad you are, never despair of Allah's mercy. Indeed, God Almighty forgives all sins. But just you have to believe there's only one God. And that's your visa, my brothers and sisters. With that, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy upon both of them. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make their grave a piece of heaven, not a piece of hell. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to expand their spies, their eyes that can see. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it furnished from Jannah and the aroma of Jannah and open the gates in them to see the place in Jannah, in paradise. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to resurrect them on whole points of light. Put Prophet Muhammad in his bottom. Grant him the book on the right hand side, allow him to intercede for them, and grant him the permission to be with him in the Jannah, in the paradise, on the highest level of the Firdaus al With that, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you all, and those who've come here, may Allah have mercy upon us all, and make our last words to be that, that is Allah. The best of actions and deeds to be the last of actions and deeds, and the last words to be that, that is Allah. And the best days to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy upon them all. If those who want to address something, by all means, feel free. If not, then we thank you again for this, the, the information, how to go. Brother Farid, and Brother Muhammad will accommodate you. Uh, if you want to say something about me, but the request from this on, brothers and sisters, if you're going to follow the Janazah, don't talk about life, think about you are in the box. Today we bury the brother, tomorrow we're buried. Today we wash the brother, tomorrow we're washed, and so on. So with this, I ask one brother to go on this side, you want to say a few words? By all means. Okay, the brother wants to say a few words, inshallah. Bye. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers, I'm uh, just want to, uh, just want to uh, convey one two words before I just leave from you. Assalamu alaikum. Can we have everybody please seated? We want to pay respect to uh, the one of the sons uh, of the deceased, Brother Qadir Khan, and of course Brother Abul Inam's son is here as well. So if he may request everybody to be seated so that he we can listen to him, please. We will not start until you sit, please. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Jazakumullah khair. Really appreciate it. Barakallahu feekum. So we'll wait two minutes, if you don't mind, please. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. I know it's a very tight crowd, and we'll be ending just right after brothers' comments, inshallah. Everybody, please sit, if you don't mind. Please, please, please. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you. Everybody on this side, on my left side, can you please have, have a seat, if you don't mind? And all the brothers on that side. On this side as well, please. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you so much for your patience. So Brother Safras, who is the son of Brother Qadir Khan, wants to say a few words. I just don't want to well, just uh, take your time on because it's the idea today. Uh, it's a uh, day for me and Brother over here. We have lost a big thing for the Khandan of both of us. So, you have to take a کہ ہم سے کہتے تھے کہ جس دن اگر ہم نے خیال نہیں رکھا نا تو آپ لوگ میں سے کوئی خیال رکھے گا اٹھا کتنا چاہتے تھے اور وہ چاہت آج دکھ رہی ہے آج ہم لوگ کے گھر میں غم ہوا ہے مگر یہ غم کا دن نہیں ہے آج اتنے سارے لوگ ہیں تو ہم انہیں ان دونوں کو آج ہم اچھے سے رخصت کرتے ہیں کیونکہ کل ہمیں بھی جانا ہے ان لوگوں کی بیس تھی کہ آج اتنے ہمارے گھر میں پتہ نہیں کون آئے گا کہ نہیں آئے بس ڈاٹو بہت ٹھیک ٹائم اور اور ایک چیز مجھے آپ سے کہنا ہے کہ انشاءاللہ جمعہ کے دن آن فرائیڈے فرام مغرب تو عشاء قرآن خانی ہوگی ایٹ جامع اسلامیہ سو جیسے آپ لوگ آج ہیں اگر اس دن آج شرکت کریں تو بہت بہت مہربانی ہوگی انشاءاللہ
Thank you very much, brothers. And keep our family and our parents and our fathers, everything in your prayers. Thank you very much. So can we request the family or Brother Kader family to go to the right side, to my right side, so we can actually meet? And the brother of uh, family of Brother Abul Inam, please on my left side. So those of us, so that we can do it in a more organized way. Sisters, sisters uh, from the Abul Inam family on my left side, which is your right side. And brothers and sisters from the Qadir family, please move to the right side, to my right side, your left side, so can you, you can meet the brothers. There are three brothers here from the Qadir family. They are going there together. And we are going to the medical cemetery once again. The white van is Brother Qadir's van, a funeral. And the black van is Brother Abul Inam's funeral van. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Anything we can do for you? Any way possible, you can let the brother uh, slide just through uh, uh, the son of Brother Abu Inam to go, to go this way. Okay, and uh, again, brothers, can you, can you do me a favor? Just let the uh, brother go this way a little further so we can accommodate a little more people. And if any way possible, we can line up so it's an orderly matter. We'll make things a bit smoother. Yes, yes, brother. Yes, of course. Just to clarify, brothers, 